PTU wanted to jump on to talk to you tonight about the summer solstice occurring tomorrow and the full strawberry moon in Capricorn, which is occurring on June 24th. But before we get into those energies, I wanted to talk about something that has come up this week with clients and is coming up in general with all the very intense energies. And I wanna remind you that in every moment, we have the ability to attract toward us whatever experiences we are focused on, we expect, and we assume. If you change your mindset and refocus your thoughts, you can change what is happening in your life and bring in new. We do a lot of private consults to teach people tools to manifest more of what they would like to have in their life. So if you're interested in anything like this, hit our website, psychictreasuresunlimited.com, and we can set you up. Sometimes when we get caught up in a series of negative events, our thoughts tend to become negative as well, and then it becomes a vicious spiral. One trick we use when bad things are happening to us is we ask ourselves, what lesson is this teaching me, rather than why is this happening to me? As we have told you many times, we are creator beings, and we are so fortunate to be here on this beautiful planet, this physical world, but ultimately our goal is to learn lessons and deal with karmic debts in order to advance our soul. So sometimes experiences will come back over and over again because we haven't learned a lesson. So it is good to sort of step back and observe and ask yourself why certain things might be happening. The summer solstice. The origin of the word solstice means sun standing still. The sun is presenting delicious energies right now for meditating, for manifesting. Surges of photonic light are pouring onto the planet. They are upgrading us. This is why, as we've said before, many people are experiencing extreme fatigue, sometimes ear ringing and other bizarre symptoms um, are all because of the photonic light that is coming onto the planet. We are being asked right now to find a balance of beliefs within ourselves and also within the entire human collective. Solstice spotlights our assumptions and what beliefs we might have unconsciously accepted. It's a time for seeing things differently, for recognizing things we didn't see before, for rebalancing. Wherever we are on our soul journey, both personally and collectively, Every soul is on its individual path and is exactly where it should be. Because of this necessary rebalancing, we notice that a lot of people are going through big changes in their lives that are being orchestrated by the universe. Although these events may be difficult for some people, this reset is necessary. As we evolve, universal energy puts us onto new paths where we are supposed to be in order to stabilize our future. You have to just trust the plan. The full strawberry moon in Capricorn on June 24th is coming up. This will bring us closures and completions, stark revelations and intense emotions. We've already been seeing some of that, both personally and collectively. Everything is interconnected, which is why while we're having a difficult time in general on the planet, many of us are having a difficult time personally as well. It's all connected. Look to create a new and better future rather than putting emphasis on the energy that is collapsing, both personally and collectively. In the external, we are often seeing a battle between the energies of, do I wanna feel safe or do I wanna be free? Venus may bring the same questions to your relationships with this full moon, and you may see changes in your relationships, changes in patterns that need to change, and perhaps some secrets emerging. The battle between Saturn, which is about control and constrictions, versus Uranus, which is about freedom and truth, continues to wage on. I've mentioned it in many videos, and the next few months are going to be very intense. Expect more uprisings and revolutionary energy, searching for freedom. Um, we may see some strong emotions, as I said, during this full moon. Capricorn asks us to be resilient, 
to focus on our creativity and our inner authority, which is going to be a very big theme throughout this year. You will start to see more grassroots community efforts like new social media platforms, new ways to produce food, perhaps new ways to educate our children, um, new currency, new types of medicine. Many, many advances are going to occur as we move forward. Expect to see plot twists, surprises, truth bombs that are often going to be attempted to be controlled and hidden, but they're going to be out there. Uranus, which represents freedom, wins this one, but not without a battle. Pluto and Capricorn will be uncovering corruption and sort of transparently revealing some dark truths about leaders around the world. And we have already started to see a little bit of that. Many planets continue in retrograde. Pluto, Saturn, Jupiter, they are all retro um, until October. So this is going to continue to force us to inspect and reconsider many of our beliefs. That's what happens in retrograde. Your dreams are probably very vivid and crazy right now. They may be giving you messages. We always encourage you to journal your dreams. We are presenting an upcoming channeled class on the spiritual meaning of dreams and numbers, which was channeled to Joanne by our spirit guides. So we highly recommend that one, especially if your dreams are, you're having a difficult time interpreting what they mean. We have Uranus in Taurus, which represents galactic Earth. And recently we have seen and heard a lot of information coming out about galactic beings. The news is getting very bold about this subject. This is an amazing time in human evolution. Many people are channeling galactic messages. And I do believe that we will see some hard evidence of galactics as we move forward. That's not a bad thing. The more you can tap into a dial that brings you into a state of bliss and peace, especially with all these external energies, the more you can sort of resiliently flow through this, surrender into this evolution in consciousness, the better. Meditate, ground into nature, play with your animals, run your essential oils, use candles, listen to beautiful music, express gratitude, whatever you can do to target your focus when the external energies are very challenging. Love and light and compassion, these are our mantras every day. This is an evolution in consciousness. It's an amazing time to be on the planet. We are being given a unique opportunity to upgrade and to process and purge many things that no longer serve us here on earth. But we have to see and face these dark energies in order to remove them. Hit our website, psychictreasuresunlimited.com, where you can purchase our new book, Three Gifted Women, Our Story. And you can also subscribe to our mailing list through the website. Uh, you can also get information about our channel classes, about psychic medium readings, about meditation and manifestation consults, about distant Reiki healing, about our channel classes and all of our other services. You can follow us on Twa Facebook, Twitter, Instagram as Psychic Treasures Unlimited. We provide content there every day. We know you hear this all the time, but please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this content and please subscribe to our channel. We're very proud of our slowly growing YouTube channel. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers, grandfathers, stepfathers, surrogate fathers, and especially to all of our fathers in spirit. They are always around you. They are with you, especially on a day like today. They hear you. Uh, so enjoy the solstice, the full moon, and happy Father's Day. Namaste from PTU.